in this situation, a lot of learners will be like, you don't need to do all that. On this video, I'm going to show you how to drive smoothly. When it comes to moving off, the mistake that a lot of people make is they bring up the clutch too fast and or they don't use any gas, which is what makes it really rough. So if you want to move off smoothly, I'll show you how to do it here. And then I'm going to show you how to do it more on the roads as well. But the main thing is clutch control. So the thing that people do wrong, let me just show you quickly, is they bring the clutch up too fast like that. So even though I moved off and I didn't stall, the car was a bit jerky. To make it smoother, just make sure you bring the clutch up just to the biting point and then hold it. And I'll show you what I mean. Let me signal so I can move off. And then I'm going to hold the clutch when I move off and you see how much smoother it is. So I'm holding the clutch now. So I'm still holding it, bringing up smoothly. And then now I can bring up smoothly. That's how you move off smooth. The gear stick doesn't require a lot of force. People think you need to use a lot of muscle to move the gear stick. That's not correct. If you need to use a lot of strength to move the gear stick, you're doing it wrong. Either your clutch is not down or you're putting it in the wrong position. The gear stick is so easy to change. You look, I can do it with one finger. Obviously don't do it like this, but I'm just showing you to demonstrate how easy it is to change. But you don't need a lot of force. When you're doing it, just practice using your palm, putting it in the right position. If you want to go into third, open palm, push up to the middle. That way, this is the correct gear. What you don't want to be doing is what some people do when they're changing gears, which is like changing gear like you're doing a, a race, you know? You don't need to change gears like this, I'll show you. Watch how long I take to get into third gear. Clutch down, middle, up, smoothly off the clutch and on the gas. Nice and smooth. It doesn't need to be rushed and you don't need to bring the clutch up too fast as well. Everything is done smoothly. Think like an elegant ballerina, you know when they really nimble on their feet and they're light and they're smooth and they're soft. That's what you need, that's what you want to do. So here, going into second, I can put my clutch down, going into second and then bring my clutch up smoothly and then I'm going to brake gently because there's a car there. Then I get into first and then bring my clutch up smoothly, adding a bit of gas as well. And then into second, bringing my clutch up smoothly. Yeah. And then cancel my signal. Then into third, or maybe not into third because there's a traffic jam up there. So I'm just going to slow down a bit more. Before you change into a higher gear, just look ahead and think to yourself, do I need the higher gear right now? And if the answer is no, just leave it in the lower gear and then carry on like that. You also want to be smooth when you're turning as well. And to do that, it's all about selecting the correct gear in, in good time. So here I'm going to be turning the next left. I'm going to check my mirrors and it's signal left. I'll show you how to treat the wrong way first of doing it. I'm going to go into there in third and I'll show you what happens if I go there in third. See, I'm going to go in there in third. And the car starts rumbling and I need, I'm changing, I need to change into, the, into a lower gear once I'm turning, but once I've turned, and it's not really ideal. The best thing to do there would be to change into second before the turn. So this is how you do a turn properly. So we're gonna take the next left, so mirror, mirror, signal. I'm in third right now. I'm gonna put my clutch down and get in second before the turn. Yeah, and then now I'm still braking gently bring, to bring my speed down, easing off the clutch. So now the gear is engaged and then check my mirror and then make the nice smooth turn in second. So you see the difference there? If you gear down before, it's much easier, it's more controlled. But if you leave it too late and then try to gear down in the turn, one, there's a lot more you've got to do, and two, it's not as smooth. So we're going to be turning left at the next roundabout. I'm in third gear, so remember, when you want to drive smooth, you want to think about what gear you're in. I'm already braking early because I don't want to go there too fast. I'm going to check my mirrors and signal left. I don't want to do this in third, I'm going to do this in second, so I'm going to gear down second have my clutch up smoothly before I get there because I can see that it's nice and clear over there that car is very far away so I can keep moving in second and then just gently just gently touching the gas I'm not pressing it too hard because there's a car in front of me there and I'm going to go into third so it's nice and smooth so one mistake that a lot of learners make is when they're approaching turns or approaching places where they've got to stop the brake way too late. Let's say I'm turning left here and I know I need to slow down here a lot because I need to check the junction properly. They'll start braking around here and then they'd have to brake really hard in order to not go over the line. So to prevent this, you need to brake much earlier and I'll show you what I mean. So this time, instead of braking really late, I'm going to start braking early. So by the time I get to the junction, I'm going to be doing like walking pace. So mirror, mirror, signal, and I'm starting to brake from early, bringing my speed down and then I'm going to Think about getting into first gear because I want to go really slowly. And so by the time I get near the end, I'm doing like walking pace. 
and then that noise clear, then I can carry on safely and smoothly. They will know where to stop, but they don't know how to get the car stopping at that particular spot. They'll go too far beyond it or they'll get there and then they realize they're going too fast and then have to brake really hard to stop before they line. You want to practice stopping and aiming for a particular spot on the road. I'm going to practice stopping just before that car over here. So that way, this is nice and quiet and I'll check my mirrors and then I'm going to slow down and then clutch down and I'm going to aim to stop just before the car. Yeah. So a mistake people make when they're stopping is they'll brake and then they'll brake even harder like that just as they're coming to a stop. What you need to do is release the brake just before you stop and I'll show you what I mean. And I've got my clutch ready in case it's busy and it is busy. So I can go into first and then I'm going to ease off the brake a tiny bit which will make it really smooth. That way I didn't get that jolt when I stopped. Sometimes when you gear down and then you bring the clutch back up again, you're gonna get that jolt and I'll show you. So this learner in front of me is going kind of slow and my car is starting to rumble a bit in third, so I might need to go into second gear and they're slowing down. So let's say I went into second gear right now. People do this and then they bring up the clutch and then that way it makes it jolt too much because I brought the clutch up too fast. To prevent that jolt, you need to make sure you're doing the right speed for that gear and that you also bring the clutch up smoothly. So let me show you what I mean. So right, right now I'm in third and if I want to gear down to second, if I've gone slowly enough, let's say I've slowed down a bit here like now, I'm doing just under 20 miles an hour now and then I'll go into second gear and I bring my clutch up, you see. The car likes it because it's the right speed for that gear. But if you bring the clutch up fast and it's the wrong speed and it's too fast for that gear, then that's when you're going to get that shakiness from the car. See, everything I'm doing is nice and smooth. You don't need to be quick, don't need to rush anything. A lot of learners, when they start driving, they think you have to be really fast. You don't. Or really fast at changing the gears, really fast at doing the pedals. That's not how you drive smoothly. Yeah. So like here, going to approaching this roundabout in second, bringing the clutch up smoothly, braking gently, checking the right, it's busy, so I'm gonna brake my brake a bit more. And then getting second, easing off the brake a tiny bit just to make it extra smooth, so that way I don't get that jolt. And then once it's clear, adding a bit of gas, bringing the clutch up smoothly again, and changing into second. So you see, taking my time, third, and then smoothly up. 